what the work I feel is becoming, it's always questioning what can be done, what can be explored. It's a constant curiosity of what is possible. For me, the power is in the journey of the self-exploring and to find out more about myself through these works. This is my second solo show here at Proyectus Monclova. And I think with this body of work, there's a lot more fluidity going on in the imagery. There is a, a lot more freedom. This show specifically, I wanted to explore the tondo shape a little more. And they aren't exactly a circle. They're kind of imperfect. Some of them have more of a egg shape to them. I think what I was thinking about was kind of an island for each piece. The process of making these pieces is very intuitive. There's no sketches, there's no really a pre-plan, but the beginning of the imagery or the composition starts with the collage of the fabric that is glued to the surface. So there's, there's a lot of intention in terms of where certain textures will be that starts to initiate a conversation. The background is knitted or crocheted blankets. These are items that you think about the home or the domestic. To me, there's, it's a warmer place to, to begin this journey. And from there, you know, I'm exploring color, different finishes, and also adding different materials. So each one, you know, is an investigation through the materiality of the work. I use basically water-based paint. There's different types of paint, acrylic paint. There is glitter and sand. Sand is one of the other materials I use a lot, colored sand as well. So it's almost like a pigment, but it adds a very beautiful surface. The sand does in the way the pigment bleeds into that. The texture has, to me, it's another way of making the painting dynamic. It's another element to play with as a painting language. And the texture gives the surface kind of energy. or It moves your eyes in a different way. and It makes the surface more interesting to paint on that. And it also, for the viewer, it can be surprising too that there's a lot more going on from a certain distance. When you get to the painting, you start seeing that there's a lot of dimension to the work, to the surface. I hope the viewer gets a sense of joy from the work because I think there's a lot of joy in making. I feel more free painting when I'm not thinking about painting. <laughs> so they're almost like, a, here's, a, here's a large object that I'm working on now. And also the sculptural part, they just have a, I think they have a different kind of presence than a painting, but because they're hanging on the wall, they, you know, they, you could say they, they, yes, they are paintings. <laughs> but I, I look at them as like a half and half. I think each painting has maybe about 10 or 12 different kind of tones or notes to them that I'm trying to compose with, you know, like a music score you have different instruments, different notes. So it's more of an, the painting should be an experience of just being kind of confronted by this buffet of texture and color and, and materiality. So I think there's a lot of physicality to the work that's important. It's very visceral. <laughs>